time is a funny thing I think that everything It's still happening just in a different place Things don't disappear just cause the view changed So think of when we both had us alive And I promise you that We're still laughing right now We're still laughing right now So trust me when I say that I'm at peace Every little flame goes out Eventually Though I'm already gone I'm still the words I left behind I'm still the memory to make you smile And those will be there for a while Though I'm already gone When you look up to the sky Just find a star that's shining bright And know I'm right there by your side I'm still with you Even though I'm gone That I could right my many wrongs So quick to turn away Always waited too long I'm sorry to the ones That I let down no, I was never perfect So I hope it ended Where I helped more than I heard I know I heard Trust me when I say that I'm at peace Every little flame goes out Eventually Though I'm already gone I'm still the words I left behind I'm still a memory to make you smile And those will be there for a while Though I'm already gone When you look up to the sky Just find a star that's shining bright And know I'm right there by your side I'm still with you Even though I'm gone And I know It's not easy It's not easy Letting go So if you need me You can find me in these notes I'm still with you I'm always with you Though I'm already gone I'm still the words I left behind I'm still a memory to make you smile Those will be there for a while Though I'm already gone When you look up to the sky Just find a star that's shining bright And know I'm right there by your side I'm still with you Even though I'm gone If you ever need me, just play this song.
I comfort myself in how strong she was for us and how beautiful she was in this life. She was a very confident and beloved woman. She was a superwoman. She would help with anything. There's not enough time in this world to have me prepared for this. There's not enough words I could say. For me to really sink in the reality that my heart is so sad with her boss. She was so strong. And she's taught me a lot. And she's done great things to leave this world better than the way she found it. And she's helped so many people in so many ways that I wish I could amount to. Every day is picking up pieces, remnants of her throughout the house, the car, things we built and dreamed of and share our lives with. And as much as I will go through that hardship, I know she's with me. She's with all of us. Everybody that's loved her, she's loved them. I wish this moment could just go backwards and never happen and life could continue forever because forever is the most beautiful and precious thing. And coming here, I couldn't write down words to say. I just know me and Chanel always lived with our hearts forward and everything we did was with our hearts. And that's the same man I am today and then the man when I met her compassionate and loving and caring and I'm blessed to have her live through the steps that I continue to make and the things that we point in to keep those things going. One thing I did want to read was just a little bit of our wedding vows because I lay in bed and wait for the day to go backwards, which it won't, and look at pictures and videos and remember all the great memories and how they make me feel now and try to not let those precious memories bring sorrow but happiness. Our wedding vows. So I took you, Chanel, to be my wife, loving you now as you grow and develop into all that God intends. I will love you when we are together and we, we are apart. When our lives are at peace and when they are in turmoil, when I am proud of you and when I'm disappointed in you, in times of rest and times of work, I will honor your goals and dreams and help you to fulfill them. From the depth of my being, I will seek to be open and honest with you and say these things believing that God is in the midst of them. I was never disappointed, Chanel. I could never allow myself to see her anything less than the great, passionate spirit that she was, so full of life. She was larger than life. She has taught me so many things. And I know people that know us, you know, always say she was so happy and, you know, ever since she's been with me, but it's both ways. She has changed my life and the better forever. And I'll live in her memory forever. And truly, I just, Simply love it. Love you, Ryan.
that's the most beautiful thing about this world is love. We go through such hardships, but without it, I wouldn't be as strong as I am at this moment. And I know Chanel was here right now. She loved all this in her honor and memory. Everybody stay strong. memory in my life, successes, wins, losses, that Chanel wasn't with me all our, all our life. We're only 13 months apart. I'm her older sister, but she always took care of me and my son and any family and friends that looked her way and she's seen in their eyes they needed, you know, an ear, a voice. And even those even those who didn't have voices, like animals and children, she knew how important it was for them to have someone care for them. But she loved everyone. She loved animals, children, her family equally. Um, oh, there's something I was want to say and I can't remember. That's okay. She definitely was my world, and no matter how strong I can be, or how strong she knew I could be, I don't think I could ever see anyone, including myself, ever be as strong, independent, and brave as my sister. Sure. I love her so much, and I'm going to always miss her. That's all.
First, I just want to thank everybody, everybody here, everybody watching across the country, the world, online. Um, it's uh, the outpour of love for the family and for Chanel has been very heartwarming. And as, uh, and as Chanel would agree, deserved. <laughs> uh, She was only 43, but in those 43 years, she lived a lot of life. Uh, she was a self-made career woman uh, and also a homemaker. She was a party planner and a caretaker. She was a restaurateur and a photographer. She was a boring old office manager and the infamous DJ Carm. <laughs> but uh, more than anything, she was our friend. You can count. Our mom liked to tell this story. When Chanel was around five, I was maybe a year old, probably less. Uh, uh, our mom would keep catching Chanel in my crib during my nap time. And she'd yell at her, tell her, get out of my crib. But every time my mom would leave the room, she'd come back, Chanel was back in the crib. So my mom decides she's going to hide around the corner and try to catch her in the act of crawling into my crib. But what she found out was me, little one-year-old me, was squeezing my little chubby hand out my crib with my little finger, <laughs> telling her I wanted her to come in and play with me. And even though she kept getting in trouble for it, she would keep coming back to my crib because I asked her to. And she never snitched on me. That's Chanel. Uh, she was selfless, dependable, and not afraid to get into a little trouble for a good cause. Uh, we got older when our mom had her hands full working two jobs. Chanel took the time out of her busy social life to teach me how to drive. Given that she wasn't legally old enough to do that, or <laughs> most likely had a suspended license at the time, <laughs> you could always count on her. She'd join you for some good trouble, and then she'd help you out of bad trouble. Then we grew up, got domesticated. Uh, Uh, but even as a family woman, as a wife, she still let that sweet, impish spirit of her shine through. Birthdays, holidays, weddings, Chanel made it a, a good time great. She lit up the room she walked in it, usually carrying the biggest gift anybody brought. Uh, but the biggest gift she gave me and my sister, Shawnee, is Ryan, our brother, when she married you. So for now, you know, we take the time, we be sad, we mourn, because uh, we deserve it. And in time, we're going to smile, we're going to remember her, celebrate the time that she shared with us, Because I should know what agree, she deserves.
have a few words in here that I don't think the chaplain would like to repeat. <laughs> uh, you can't say anything I have. <laughs> There's sweet yeah. little things, but they might walk away. It's, it's okay to change them. Okay. <laughs> I also wrote my down. Introducing a significant other to your siblings can go a million ways. Steve prepared me to meet Chanel for the first time the way a lawyer prepares his client for a deposition. <laughs> he knew that she was a seasoned captain through life's many storms, and I was the new guy, just excited to sweep the poop deck. That summer evening in 2012, Chanel and Shawnee joined us for dinner at the athletic club. Chanel was dressed true to her name, a classy black dress, soft makeup with hair in her bun, and stylish sparkly joy. This moment stuck with me because she had taken the time to dress up for this occasion. I was humbled. As the evening went on, I realized why Steve had prepared me. Chanel was confident, big personality, and happy to give her her opinion. Two, she ran with a crowd who wouldn't hesitate to kick your ass. <laughs> But I'm happy to report that that evening went well, that we enjoyed our time together, and I didn't get my ass kicked. For the next nine years, I became closer to Chanel. She was a beacon of compassion, of patience and persistence when I wanted to destroy the world around me. Like sisters, we bumped heads from time to time, but who can blame us? She had shown me some ropes to self-confidence, and sometimes I got a little too confident. But that's also what sisters are for. Someone to keep you grounded, and someone to pick you back up. To get, <laughs> today gives me deep sorrow, as I and countless others miss her greatly. I thank her brother, my husband, Steve, for introducing me to Chanel. For Chanel and her family welcomed me into their lives. And for the time she and I had together, though it was much too short. Chanel, I'm honored to call you sister. I thank you for not kicking my ass. But mostly, I thank you for loving me for me. Brian and family, I want to thank you for sharing the personal uh, experiences that you had with your wife and your sister. I, uh, I visited the home Friday or Thursday with Ryan, and I, uh, I asked Ryan as we were talking, I said, is there, is there any particular passage of scripture that you would like for me to share? And, uh, and Ryan said, well, we, we really didn't have uh, any one particular passage that we would, we would think about uh, uh, during this time. And if you, uh, if you haven't heard in this time that we've been together here, if you didn't hear it once, you probably heard it a hundred times. And the word that describes Chanel that we hear over and over is the word love. And uh, I have a passage that I want to read to you. It's from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it really defines what love is. And this is the love that Chanel had for her family and friends. It says, love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. Love is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love beareth all things, believeth all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And as we, we come here today to remember Chanel and the, the great love that she had for her family and for her friends, I, I, I think of the passage that the Apostle Paul wrote and just giving us a, a wonderful definition of love. And, and, and that love is God's love. In fact, when you think about God's love, it, one of the words that we have heard here with Chanel is, is the word sacrifice. And, and God's love is a sacrificing love. In fact, in Romans chapter 5 and verse 8, it says that God commended or demonstrated his love toward us and that 
while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We often think of a very familiar passage of Scripture in John 3.16. Most people have it memorized. It says, for God, what? So loved the world that he gave, self-sacrificing, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, when you think of this type of love, you have to think of Chanel and her love that she had for her family. It was one that's self-sacrificing. One that was always willing to go the extra mile. One who cared and one who was prepared. She loved her family and friends and one always knew that all they had to do was go to her and whatever need they had, she would try to meet. It's clear that she lived life, she lived life to the fullest. Beloved family, we may not know what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. And I'm so thankful that we have a God who loves us and a God who cares for us. A God who gave His Son so that we might have eternal life through His death, burial, resurrection. And I pray that in the year, years to come, in the days to come, maybe in the hours to come, that you continue to hold forth those precious memories. One of the greatest gifts God gave us is the ability to remember. And I would just encourage you to hold those precious memories closely. Chanel had a second song that she wanted played. And if you listen to the lyrics of this song, it really exalts our faith in times of storms, in times of troubles. Chanel had chosen this song, and I pray that today as we hear the lyrics of it, that it will strengthen your faith and your love for the Lord as well as your love for Chanel.
Father, as we hear the words of this song, Lord, I'm so thankful that we can put our faith and trust in you. <coughs> when storms come our way, Lord, you are faithful, and we thank you for that. I thank you for your love and for the love that Chanel has. And I pray you just minister your grace to her family. And we'll give you the glory and praise for it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.